Okay, um, starting off, uh, this one, I just have, uh, all of the sprites that I'm going to be using on the stage. Um, basically it's just, I just copied a line of sprites out of the, uh, a PNG file from, uh, a picture, well, a PNG file. Um, and they're all pasted on the screen. I broke the image apart and did trace bitmap to all of them. And they made them all into graphic symbols. Um, <clears throat> to do uh, to turn it into a uh, like animated figure, you're just going to cut all but the first frame of your animation of the guy. This is Mario walking, so everything except for the first frame of Mario walking, you're going to cut off, and you're going to convert this to a movie clip by going to modify convert to symbol or um f8 and uh... you're going to make sure you change it to a movie clip and you can give it whatever name you want so i'm just going to name this one mario walk and then you're going to double click on it and go inside of it and you'll notice that up here it says your movie clip name which means you're inside of it now. Now what you're going to do is you're... I can't remember how many frames there are, so I'm just going to take a random guess. Um, you're going to highlight as many frames as there are left of how many characters there are to paste in. So then, after you do that, you're going to right-click and press Convert to Blank Keyframes. So that you have all these little empty areas except for the first one. Then, on that, you're just going to paste all of the uncop I mean the uh all the characters that you cut off of the first frame and then again you're just gonna take all of them except for what is now the second one cut that off of there paste those guys on there and basically you're just gonna repeat the steps and just paste them all get them all on there they're not gonna be lined up yet and uh, uh all right okay um actually i picked out the perfect number of frames now you're going to notice that all of them are jumping around if you lined it up like i did which is well not lined up at all so you're going to go to the second frame and turn on your onion skinning tool and you're going to see a series of frames. I usually just uh, set it up to only show the frame you're on and the frame before it. So that all you see is frame 2, frame 1, and on frame 3 it would be frame 2. So then you're just going to do your best at lining it up like that and then, well, I usually do this to get it lined up like almost perfectly. At first, you're gonna line up like if you if all the heads on the character are the same, you just for me in a movie clip, I would line it up by the heads, and you're gonna notice that the feet aren't lined up. So you line up the head, and then just line up the foot level, which would line that part up on there, and uh, kind of starts it off. Um, I'm just going to do this twice and then, well, you're going to get the point of, uh, how to line it up. Then, uh, I'm just going to pause it and do the rest so I don't have to waste any film or, well, duration of tape. And I think that's lined up. No, it's not. Alright, now that that's lined up, then you line up the feet. Okay. Alright, now I'm going to pause it real quick and uh, do the rest of it. Okay. Um, well, I just finished uh, lining up all the characters. Now it runs pretty smoothly. If you lined it up the exact way I did and you used the same sprite, it's going to look pretty much exactly like this. So now when you walk, I mean, it kind of goes like that. 
But um, if you go to your main timeline and you have your character dropped on the main timeline, or otherwise another way to get it from your library is to just click and drag one out like that. But um, when you play, you'll notice that he goes extremely fast when uh when you play it. When well, <coughs> my on-screen camera is recording at thir at 15 frames a second and. My frame rate's 30, so it probably looks weird. But, um, another thought when, uh, using sprites on Flash is that, um, if you're making a movie clip out of them, you don't want to rescale the sprites before you're done animating it. But after you have the movie clip, you can scale it to whatever size you want and play it because it'll resize everything inside of it. And, well, the final thing that you're going to do with uh, sp sprite animating is uh, slowing it down at a high frame rate, which is just going in between every frame and inserting a frame or just pressing F5 to save some time. Now, this is probably going to... Well, that looks good. That's Mario walking. Well, this is uh, the end of the animating sprites tutorial. Let's see.